10 o'clock news, a major update out of Putnam County, where eight years after the burned body of a pregnant woman was found in the cemetery, deputies say they've caught her killer. Despite numerous attempts by the suspect to confuse our detectives, we were determined to find justice for Shakira, her unborn child, and her family. 42-year-old Lorenzo Hudson is now facing two counts of first-degree murder, among other charges. Right now, he's nearing the end of a five-year prison sentence after being convicted of robbery, theft, and fraud. News for Jackson reporter Eric Avenue joining us live tonight to explain how Hudson became a suspect in this cold case. Eric? Well, investigators are not divulging how the victim was murdered or the motive behind her death. They say they strongly believe that she met her killer online before her body was dumped into a graveyard similar to this one. 42-year-old Lorenzo Hudson had already been transferred to a minimum security prison ahead of his scheduled release later this year when he was indicted for the murder of 22-year-old Shakira Pinckney and her unborn child. Investigators say she was murdered back in the fall of 2015. Her body was discovered inside this remote cemetery in East Palatka, less than a mile from where Hudson was living at the time. According to investigators, Pinckney's remains were burned beyond recognition. During an autopsy, the medical examiner discovered Shakira was about four months pregnant. Detectives were also able to photograph very distinguishable tattoos that would link our case with the Daytona Beach the police department's missing persons case. Four days prior to the discovery of Pinckney's body, her family in Daytona Beach reported her missing. Investigators say prior to her disappearance, she posted an ad online. Pinckney was known to access and place photos online of a then popular adult website. We believe Hudson also utilized this website to solicit sex, and that is how the pair met. Days after Pickney's body was found in this cemetery, her abandoned car was found in St. John's County. At the time of her death, Pinckney was a mother of two children with a third child on the way. As for her alleged killer, court records show that before he was sent to prison in 2019, he had numerous run-ins with law enforcement in Putnam, St. John's, and Volusia counties. Now, because this is a double murder case involving an unborn child, prosecutors say that uh, they are now considering uh, whether to uh, turn this into a death penalty case or seek the death penalty. Reporting live, Eric Avignon.